You know, I usually never record this late. It's like 12 a.m. right now, but I had to just record today because the NBA All-Star game just ended. And uh, may I say, that All-Star game, well... It's the biggest piece of dog shit. Okay, maybe it wasn't that bad. I mean, you know, Dame hit a half-court shot. You know, that's exciting, right? No, okay, listen. We all know the All-Star game isn't the same without Curry in the game, all right? You know what's bad when even the coach says the game was terrible. That is the worst basketball game ever played. How do you fix it? Uh, I don't know if you can fix it. But you know, that's enough with the game, all right? You know, let's take a little bit of focus off the game, because this ain't about the game. This is about a familiar face I saw around the All-Star game. You know, the whole All-Star weekend, you saw this face, and, uh, well, there was a lot of Malones. At this All-Star game, you know, you had Post Malone perform, you had uh, Mike Malone as the coach, and, uh, well, you had Carl Malone everywhere. Yeah, Carl Malone. There's something you guys don't know about Carl Malone, probably. Well, some of you probably know, but some of you probably don't know. And, uh, once you do know, you're probably never gonna like Carl Malone ever again. But, it, but it's deserving, you know, it's deserving. It's not like this dude said, you know, a racial slur and I'm bringing it back. No, this dude did something that's unforgivable. Come on out, you rapist! The third all-time leading scorer in NBA history. Your one-time rapist and your one-time all-star pedophile! The mailman, Carl Malone. Let me introduce you guys to Carl Malone. The mailman, some may call him, some may call him the man you want to stay away from. Carl Malone, third all-time leader in scoring. Carl Malone, you, know, you may know him from back in the 90s when Jordan used to bust his ass all the time in the finals. Carl Malone, guys, and uh, Carl Malone has a son, Demetrius Bell, who uh, played in the NFL. I don't know if he still plays in the NFL or not, but Demetrius Bell is his name, and uh, well, Carl Malone has a few kids, I think. Yeah, I know he has another son. I don't know about another kid, but I know he has two sons, and one of his sons, Demetrius Bell, well, his mother was around 14 when she had him. Yes, 14, and the father's Carl Malone. But do you want to know how old Carl Malone was when he impregnated this 13-year-old that goes by the name of Gloria Bell? She now changed her last name to Williams, but at the time this was Gloria Bell, and she was 13, and Carl Malone was in college. Carl Malone got drafted at the age of 21 years old. So Carl Malone was either 18, 19, or 20, having intercourse with a 13-year-old. That, that, that is rape, and that is being a predator. At the fullest degree, there's no consensual sex at 13 when someone is an old grown man. Well, not old, but, you know, 18, 13, that, that's old for a 13-year-old, seeing an 18-year-old fucking prowling on you, trying to get you pregnant. That is disgusting. I really started hearing about this story during the last dance when that came out, but I really started looking into it recently because they announced him on Twitter. The NBA literally tweeted, hey, guys. A predator, he's hey, he's gonna be a judge in the dunk contest. He, hey, listen, Carl Malone, Utah. Hey, let's go. He's he's a judge in the dunk contest. Let's let's give it up for the predator and rapist Carl Malone, man. Like the NBA, like it's just like they shun it. They they're shunning everything he's done just because he was a great power forward. No, the nigga is nasty. You know, you think with the whole cancel culture, I hate it. Listen, I hate it. I hate it. But for someone like Carl Malone. It's, it's deserved, okay? You can't, y'all are trying to cancel people for saying stuff with their mouth. Free, freedom of speech, by the way. It's in the Constitution. You can say what you want, but you can get canceled. But someone that got a 13-year-old pregnant all over national TV last night. Why? Why is Carl Malone always just being represented by the NBA? It just don't make sense. I can guarantee you guys... 10, 15, 20 years down the road, the NFL won't be saying anything about Antonio Brown and his greatness and his impact on wide receivers in the league. Because if you guys don't remember, Antonio Brown was a great wide receiver. He was top three in the league at one time. They probably won't say anything about Antonio Brown because, oh, he quit during the game. He's been disrespecting NFL players. He's talked shit on Tom Brady. Screw Antonio Brown. I guarantee it. They won't mention him. They probably won't even put the man in the Hall of Fame. Oh, Carl Malone's in the Hall of Fame. Carl Malone's all over TV. All over it. We all know LeBron passed up Kareem for the greatest record in the NBA. I ain't even got to say what it is. But 
We know that, okay? We've been seeing that all week, the past two weeks. Why do you have to involve Carl Malone in it? He's number three. He's not two. He's not one, okay? And guess what? He's a predator too. I don't even know if the NBA knows that. I, I, you guys do, but you know. Listen to all these people cheer after they call his name. NBA history, two-time league MVP and 14-time All-Star, the mailman, Carl Malone. The whole stadium cheering in Utah. They're all cheering in Utah. He's the Utah Jazz legend. How many of those people in the crowd do you think know what he did? None of them. None of the people cheering know what he did. Because if they did and they're cheering for this nigga, well, you, you need your shit checked. You know, there's a bunch of kids in the crowd. You got Carl Malone waving to all the 13 U kids right here. Like, oh man, NBA, please get your shit together, please. Now, I will be fair here. You know, it is the Jazz. We're in Utah, 2023 All-Star game. You either got Stockton or Malone. So I, I see what the NBA is doing with that. But still, let's bring out John Stockton next year. If you go to your Utah again, which you're not. But next time you're in Utah, let's bring out John Stockton. Because you would think... You know, I just got a 13-year-old pregnant, Carl Malone. I'm speaking for Carl Malone here, not me. Okay, don't fucking clip that shit. But Carl Malone gets a 13-year-old pregnant. You would think he'd be there for his son that he had with a 13-year-old. No. His son said it's like his mother went to a sperm bank. That's how much Carl Malone wasn't there for his son. And he made it to the NFL without his dad in his life. I'm proud of that dude right there. But Carl Malone, we ain't so proud of you. I don't get triggered about a lot. I really don't get triggered by anything. You know, I'm a real cool, laid-back dude, but hearing something like this and then hearing thousands of people clap for someone that's a predator, you know, it's just, it don't feel right to me. Could never get it done versus Jordan. Played in Utah. Predator. Grapus. Without the G. Has over 30,000 points. Still a bum. You a bum, my nigga. You guys let me know, though. Is this forgivable? I definitely don't think so, just by the pure fact that Carl Malone was a grown-ass man who could make his own decisions and decided to get a 13-year-old pregnant instead of someone that was legal age, and he was on his way to the NBA. That, you just like little girls at that rate. There's no other explanation to it. There's no defending you, bro. Like, you like little girls. That's it. You're a nasty nigga. But he has 30,000 points, right? None of them up, okay. none of them stuck, ain't no more love, love. Carries up my ear, but I cut up all the trash I had to cook the dope up on the sun